Bob, how how excited was it uh, calling the, the game, beating the Yankees, and now advancing uh, onto the World Series? It's always sweet to win the, uh, the pennant, but to beat the New York Yankees, to sweep the New York Yankees, and to hear the people boo, people like uh, Alex Rodriguez and, and some of their big stars. Uh, Detroit was into it. Detroit earned it. Detroit deserves it, and uh, now we're getting ready for a National League team. Yeah, which uh, probably is going to be the St. Louis Cardinals again. Why Why not? Every time Detroit goes to the World Series outside of 84, it seems like they played the Cardinals. That's true, and we now have a score to settle because we were the better team in 2006, but it didn't show up on the scoreboard, but it will now. The excitement level for you, obviously, getting the opportunity to do the Tigers. I know it's been a thrill for you over the years as well. Uh, but to do the World Series, uh, be standing, uh, sitting in your booth, calling out the names, uh, here's next to bat, who's on the mound, all that stuff. What's the thrill like for you? The biggest thrill is when we did in 2006 when Joe Buck threw it to me. I didn't hear him because I just have a, 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 a director standing next to me, and when he taps me on the shoulder, I know I have to talk. And when he taps me on the other shoulder, I know I have to stop. But when I got to see the tape of what it was, and, and Joe Buck said, and let's go to stadium announcer Bob Virgil's, that was uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that oh, what a thrill for sure. And and I and he know, got uh, my name right. Hey, he got it right. That's <laughs> that's pr pretty key. Uh, many people have probably butchered uh, Virgil's over that's the right. years. That's so right. I'm I'm certain. Uh, now I know uh, you're, this is going to be the the last hockey season for mm -hmm. you uh, here. Uh, in Toledo. What's hockey meant to you over the years? It's been a lot. It's, it's been a lot. Uh, the fans are like a family to me. I've gone through some, some tough times with my dad's loss and then uh, through a divorce and job changes and things like that. But the one thing that's been constant over the last 20 years are these fans. And I always tell the story about when my dad died back in 1998. Uh, we were at the funeral home and the very first arrangement came and it was from the Storm Fan Club. And that was, uh, that meant a lot to me. It, they didn't know my dad. You know, they were doing it for me. And uh, to be able to see these fans and have them uh, come up and say, oh, don't, don't go, Bob, don't go. You know what, it's 16 years in one Main Street and, and four years here. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's another guy's turn or another girl. I mean, it's another announcer's turn. And uh, while I've been doing this, we've had two decades of announcers come and go and didn't get a chance to do this. And you know, hopefully they'll get that chance. Uh, it's been uh, certainly a pl privilege to hear you over the year. I'm looking forward to hearing you in the World Series, though, Bob. That's going to be uh, a lot of fun, and hopefully uh, you get to announce that extra uh, one and coming up. Well, what I'd really like to announce is, ladies and gentlemen, have your attention now to center field now for the presentation of the World Series trophy to your Detroit Tigers. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. It would be a thrill for sure. Thanks much to Bob Virgil's joining us here. We